Mr. Beiderbeck, we are investigating the murder of Judge Catherine Lavinio. I believe you knew her. Knew her very well. She was a political slug, and I wasn't shy about saying so. Her antitrust ruling cost me $210 million. And this was back when $210 million was a lot of money. Whoever killed her did the world a favor. Is this your bat, Captain? Do I look like I play a lot of baseball? Well, how do you explain your initials DB on the handle? Well, the question really is, how do you explain it, Pee Wee? Maybe you put them there. Are you accusing us of tampering? Wouldn't dream of it, but I could probably convince a jury of it. The first 20 numbers on my speed dial are all lawyers. Shall I call one? Adrian, by the way, I was very sorry to hear about Trudy. I know she was your beloved, and I heard that during our little difficulty, you never left her side, not even once. Where were you last night? About 10.30. Last night? Let me see. 10.30? Um. Oh, yes! I was here! I haven't left this bed in 11 years. Even if I could, I can't make it through the door. I'm five and a half feet wide, if you haven't noticed. More of me to love, Sharona. And I know what you're thinking. Is he really that big? What's under those covers? I would uh, confirm and swear under oath that my patient weighs over 800 pounds. He's not faking anything. Excuse me, are, are you my lawyer? Are you my lawyer? No, sir. Then shut up and stop defending me. Your job is very simple. You keep me alive. Can you handle that? Yes. Good. Where were we? Bread and butter. What? Bread and butter. Those were Trudy's last words, weren't they? The transcript of the coroner's inquest is a matter of public record. The internet monk, it's the fat man's best friend. It's been troubling me for years. What could she have meant? Bread and butter. Go to hell. <laughs> no doubt I will. I just hope it's handicapped accessible. No, 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 no. Nunca me interrupas. Dije que no! Afuera! Afuera! Trained monkey could do better. Mr. Beiderbeck, this is not a joke. We have evidence and it's overwhelming. Is it? Yes, it is. You have motive? You were identified by name on the 911 call? A child in the neighborhood saw you in the judge's house that night. Oh my god, that sounds like a strong case, Captain. What do you think, monk? I think you killed her. Prove it. You alone. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I know you can hear me. Hello. Oh my God. Lawrence Nightingale. Daddy needs food. Oh crap. Oh. There you are. Did you hear the buzzer? I'm starving. I'm wasting away here. Sorry. Where were you? I was in the kitchen. I couldn't find a tray. Liar. Liar. <laughs> Remember, there are no secrets in the house of Beiderbeck. You should know that. Oh, hold on. You know, Conroy is looking tired. Why don't you put in a left-hander? Feed me. Mm. Oh, you know, most of my other nurses sit on the chair. You must be attracted to me. Look, I'm, I'm just trying to do my job, OK? So did you find what you were looking for? What do you mean? Don't be clever with me, Sharona. You're not up to it. I know that Monk sent you here to spy on me. No, he didn't. You decided to come on your own. Fantastic. that That's not true. Of course it is. Hey, did he tell you about his wife and me? I know all about it. No, you don't. He didn't tell you. He's too ashamed. See, nine years ago, his beloved Trudy wrote a piece on me in which she said I was the Genghis Khan of world finance. So I sued her and the rag that published the piece. Now, I knew I couldn't win, but I dragged things on long enough that eventually Mr. and Mrs. Monk had to sell everything. 
even that cute little starter house they lived in. You know who owns it now? You. Mm -hmm. I use it to store my pornography collection. Which reminds me, are you interested in earning a little extra money? Oh, oh, come on now. Don't be like that. I mean, after all, Sharona, I know how you paid your rent back in Miami. <laughs> What kind of dog is that? Hmm? Sweetheart, if you want to feel my stomach, all you have to do is ask. No, I wasn't of trying. Of course you were. You were thinking, my God, can he really be that big? Or is it a trick? Let's find out, Sharon. Totally al fresco. Oh, my God. Mom, are you okay? You've been in there all morning. Go away. Mr. Monk is here. Tell him I hate my job and I quit. I've never seen her freak out like this. I told her not to go. In case you're wondering, yes, he really is that fat, okay? He's orca, he's horrific. You also had videotapes of the judge. What kind of tapes? Interviews she did for TV. He had about 10 of them. Wait. Hello? Yeah, he's here. It's for you. Hello? Bread and butter. Bread and butter. It's been driving me crazy. What could she possibly have meant? Bread and butter. I figure it was a message. A secret message just for you. What can I do for you, Dale? Well, I'm a little worried about Sharona. She sort of fell apart on us last night. I'm really not sure if we can count on her, Adrian. You have other things to worry about. You can't scare me. Don't even try. You're meek. Meeky, meek, meek. Oh, oh, gotta go. The Munich markets are closing. Toot it's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere No one seems to care Well, I do Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out